Hey guys, welcome back to Inside Investing. Today we're going to talk to you about why you should start investing. Because I actually think that there are a lot of people that want to start investing, but feel like they don't have the knowledge, they don't know how to start investing, they feel like there's a lot of risks involved in starting with investing. And definitely there are some risks, but there are also huge benefits. And, and that's definitely what we want to focus on. So today during this video, we're going to talk to you and going to take you through a few key reasons on why you should start investing as soon as possible. Let's go. So why should you start investing as soon as possible? I think there are a few key reasons. And I think the first one is actually that age definitely matters, right? I think overall people tend to start a little bit too late in investment investing and, and actually once they start investing they yeah they, they definitely see on that they should have started earlier right so if we look at this this graph I think you can see that with a $50 monthly contribution if you start by the age of 20 then you eventually within the upcoming like 44 years you can grow up your your overall investing investment into around yeah, nearly the $200,000, which is quite significant. But if you would start only 10 years later, which you can see on the red line, then you would end up with half of the money, although it's just 10 years later than if you start at 20, right? If you start then at your age of 40 and then actually you stop investing then after like 24 years, you end up with 40k so that's a significant difference and this is all with the same 50 dollar investment each month so that's like a default every month you're opening your your investment account and you're putting in 50 bucks every month and, and this i think this graph definitely shows at least it showed me back when i started investing that I needed to start as soon as possible because actually each week, each month, each year that I would start later would eventually cost me a lot of money. That's how I eventually viewed it. So age matters. So start as soon as possible. It doesn't matter if you're now 36, 38, whatever. Start as soon as possible. So myself, I actually started investing, I think it was like three, three years ago. Um, and that was when I was 22 actually. So it's, it's indeed getting to that to that 20, 20 year mark, which I think is quite good. And then also the $50 contribution, um, I'm, I'm definitely getting that. Um, on the other hand, I'm also investing actually a little bit more than the $50. Uh, we'll, we'll cover that in a completely different video, in which yeah, I'll also explain to you the amount of money and how you should determine what amount of money you could put aside every month to invest. Um, so yeah, guys. That's it, definitely age matters. Yeah, then I think one of, the, one of the things that people tend to forget actually, that a financial healthy lifestyle lasts a lifetime, right? If you're young, if you're around like 30 years old, you know how to spend and save and invest your money wisely, that'll, that'll last you throughout your whole life actually. Right? So it will make sure that once you're 40 or 50 years old, you still know how to deal with your money in a good way. So definitely make sure that, that you get up, you, you put in the work, you put in the effort, and then eventually you, you create that financial healthy lifestyle. Because that eventually lasts throughout your whole career, independent of the amount of money that you're making. So guys, this is our first video. We definitely appreciate, appreciate a thumbs up from you. Uh, sub subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, so yeah, let's get those numbers up. Let's see. So time versus reward. I think overall investing, if you do it in a correct way, it's a very limited amount of time that is gonna take you versus a very significant reward that you're gonna be able to make right and that's also on average so that's also a little bit difficult always to say and it's also for now we can only look back into the into the past we can't look into the future 
but at least from what we've seen there's a lot of rewards that can be made with very little time to be spent so for example if we take next to that as an example the house renting right you could try and see if you could buy a very small apartment you can rent that out that's definitely an option but then if you look at the money and the time that you need to invest into getting a property then getting someone to clean it to to make sure that there, that maintenance is done that light bulbs are fixed that everything is fixed with your with your renters i think that definitely costs a significant amount of time in comparison with investing which should not cost you that much time on a on a weekly on a monthly basis even and then also the entry cost, right? I think investing, if you do it in a correct way, if you use the correct broker and the correct um, stocks that you're investing in, the cost can be very low to do it, to invest in it, but also the entry costs are not in comparison with buying a house and renting it out, which are quite significant in that case. That's not, that's definitely not true for investing. I think you can start with just a hundred bucks, just a hundred dollars or euros. You can already start in, in investing and getting a few small stocks so yeah guys this is our start this was our first video so we definitely appreciate that you could share your ideas for our next video topics that you want us to cover um so yeah guys let's go